What's up guys, Flippin' Steve, finally back with another video. It's been about three weeks or so, so I apologize. Just been busy with life, busy with work, crazy. But I'm back and here's a video. And in today's video, I wanna talk about basically what I've been doing and what I do when I, when I win, when I have a win, when I flip cards, I make profits. What do I do with my earnings? Um, what do I spend it on? How do I budget? And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a recent um, flip slash process where I started. So back in February, towards the end of the NFL playoffs, um, early February, late January actually, I was buying Jordan Love cards and anybody who knows um, about the channel or follows me knows that I was buying Jordan Love cards. And I've pretty much sold all of my Jordan Love cards except for these two. The good thing is I still do have two impeccable RPAs left, but I sold a bunch of Jordan Love cards. I was about $1,000 in and came out with $3,000 on the other end. So when you do the math, that's $2,000 profit. So what I like to do with my $3,000 is I take my original thousand, it goes back into my sports card account. And I say back into my sports card account because I keep my bank account and my sports card account separate. That way I never have to dive into my personal paycheck from my job or my wife's paycheck from her job. You know, our, our bill money, our mortgage money, things like that. My hobby money is exclusively in another account. It's, it's completely separate. And that's something that I would like to recommend. This isn't a recommendation video. This is just how I do things. But to keep yourself out of trouble and over leveraging yourself, have separate funds for your cards, especially if you're going to um, flip uh, or gamble or prospect, okay? If you're buying something for your collection, I guess it's okay to go ahead and, and take it out of your money and your earnings because you work hard and you want to get things to show for your, uh, your hard work. But in this case, $1,000 goes back into my account and I have $2,000 left to spend. And basically the money that I'm going to left to spend is, is free money. It's house money at this point. And the, the $1,000 that I started with before this was also house money as everyone who was flipping cards in 2020 when it was super duper easy is um you know sitting on some profit if they spent it spent it wisely that's kind of the uh, the boat that i'm in right now so i took a thousand dollars and i'm like i'm gonna take a thousand dollars i'm gonna spend it on myself and when i talk about spending it on myself that doesn't mean that i'm strictly spending it on cards for myself that means i'm spending it on myself so that could be cards, that could be things for my house, it could just be something that I want. Um, and in this case, 500 of my $1,000 right off the bat, I took and I spent on something for my home. And I'll show you guys what I went ahead and picked up out here in my backyard. I got myself this cool Blackstone griddle, flat top to cook on. Got the Weber grill over there, but as you can see, I got myself this new uh, Blackstone. Uh, here it is, cover off, got the cooking top. And I've been doing some cooking on it, so it is already seasoned and everything, if y'all know what that means. This is not a cooking channel. This is a sports car channel, and you may be asking yourself, if this is a sports car channel, why are we looking at a Blackstone griddle? Well, guys, we do got some cards coming up, so stick around. So now $500 of the $1,000 that I put aside for myself is now gone. I got $500 left, and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, start looking for some cards that I want to buy for my PC or that's what I actually did cards that I want to put away for myself and um, I got those we'll go ahead and check those out just remember guys I'm a regular everyday guy like you you know I got my my job where I work my 40 hours a week I'm not a vlogger I'm not a Justin Gamble Gamble I'm not a Roth cards TV so my money is going back into my life and back into my collection I am the type of person that likes to fund my collection with um, with flipping so yeah I do flip but that's just not what I do 24-7 uh, right that's what I do as my side hustle to fund my hobby and to uh, make things, you know, a lot easier to go out and get things that I do want. And of course, everything isn't always biscuits and gravy. It's not all peaches and cream. You do take your losses, especially when you're prospecting. Again, that's why I say it's important that when you do win, you put that money back into your account and you have uh, more money to prospect with again and you try to do it over again. And sometimes you lose. In fact, in my next video, I am going to talk about some of my losses. I'm not just going to show you what I'm doing now, my wins, what I'm spending my money on. I'm going to show you some cards that I still have that I'm probably going to be stuck with for, for life unless I give them away. And it's going to be some long shot prospecting that I did uh, back in 2020 and cards that I never moved off of 
and probably will never be able to move off of now. So I'm gonna keep it real, and my next video will be on um, some cards that I took losses on. Let's go ahead and check out the cards that I bought with my remaining 500 bucks for my $1,000 budget that I set aside for myself. And the first one I wanna start off with is 1957 Tops. Frank Robinson rookie card in a PSA 5. I was looking for this card, and with it being vintage, you know, grades can be funny. I was looking for this in a 6 due to pop reports. However, I look for a nice surface and nice centering. This card had a nice service, surface and nice centering, so getting a PSA 5 as opposed to a PSA 6 helped me with my budget, and I got out of the card what I, will, what, you know, what I wanted out of it, and that's centering and surface. We'll take a look. So we got the Frank Robinson finally to add to the vintage collection. Frank's also one of my all-time favorites as I'm an Orioles fan. Didn't get to watch him growing up. I do remember when he managed, first African-American manager in the major leagues. And I picked this card up off Instagram for $350. So great price for this. Great deal out there. Love the card. It's being put away. And then the other cards that I got while we're at it is the 1981 Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones here, Harrison Ford in a near mint eight. This is the tops. I picked up the tops and I also picked up the OPG, which is the Canadian version. Very low pop on both of these, especially the OPG might have a pop of 10 with only three higher. And then also a very low pop on the tops. I will put that up there when I show the cards. Got the OPG and the tops, and these were 150 bucks. So there you have it, 350 bucks for my Frank uh, Robinson, which is over here, 150 bucks for the Indiana Jones cards. That's my $500 that I had left over after $500 on the Blackstone. So you may be saying to yourself, Steve, that's only $1,000 of the 2,000 that you made. What did you do with the other thousand? Well guys, like I said, I do flip, I do collect. I had to save $1,000 to go ahead and try to do it all over again. And um, basically what I did was I took $1,000 and I invested it into $1,000 worth of this guy right here. And if you're really, really interested in who this is, type a comment below and I will put out a video on who I'm prospecting on with $1,000 that was left over. So there you have it, guys. Profited $2,000 off Jordan Love cards, spent $500 on a grill, spent $500 on sports cards, Made myself happy in the meantime. Got $1,000 left over to prospect again. Try to do it all over again, but I'd rather be lucky than good. So hopefully I'm lucky again. And the $1,000, my original money, went back into my sports card account. That's the way that I do it. I like to play it safe. I don't put it all back in the cards. I don't spend 100% of everything that I'm making. You know, that's just me. That's my style. You guys comment below on how you do it and what you've been up to. It's good to put another video out for you guys, and hopefully we can get on a live stream and um, have some interaction. Definitely get some people entered for the national giveaway, which will be coming up. Thanks, guys, for viewing this video. Like and subscribe on your way out, or don't if you didn't like the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you.